Hello, creative souls. Happy Sunday. Happy self-care Sunday. I'm grateful to be here with you. Um, we're going to be doing a fill your cup exercise from my new book. And we're just going to wait a few minutes. Hi, Anne. Thank you much. Thank you so much for joining me, Donna. Super happy to see you. And Stacy, I'm going to give you a wave. Thanks for inviting your friends, Stacy. Hi, Iris. Hi, Andrea. Awesome. Yay. Hi, Brenda. Ah. Uh, Makes me so happy that you joined us. I sent a lot of reminders out there today. <laughs> so if you're on my email list, I know that you um, probably received them. So I'm grateful that you are here. I feel like it's super, super important for us to get grounded and take care of our mental health. Hello, Bahar. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, there are so many feelings going on right now. Um, and this is the reason why I really wanted to come on here and do this exercise called Fill Your Cup. Uh, my name is Leah Guzman, if you don't know me. Uh, we have uh, some new members in the group, so I'm super excited about that and the Creative Soul on the Retreat. And I'm a board certified art therapist and artist. And I wanted to share, um, oh, Brenda says she's been walking and painting and cleaning. Ah, I've been doing a lot of cleaning myself. Um, yes, um, and so I wanted to share an exercise from my new book that's actually releasing um, in another week. So for those of you who got the digital version, um, you've been able to dive in now. Um, and those who, who got the, the soft cover, it'll be mailing out next week, so I'm happy about that. Hey, Jessica. Uh, and the reason I wanted to do this speci specific activity, um, there's over 100 exercises in this book, but the reason I wanted to do the Fill Your Cup is because I think that grounding is really, really important and so is coping skills, right? Being able to know that we have this opportunity to um, use our minds, use our consciousness to choose better thoughts, to choose to, to get grounded. Um, now, Brenda, so where do you order your book? Um, yeah, it's, it's available on Amazon um, on pre-release right now. It's in Target, it's in Barnes and Noble, and a few other places uh, online. But those are like the most popular places that you could um, order one. Hey, Malika. Yeah, and so when we talk about painting, I know that Brenda said that she likes painting. Um, I know for me, I'm, I suffer from anxiety, so I know that painting actually helps me as well. But sometimes it's actually really hard to get grounded enough to start painting okay to to tap in into our um activities that we enjoy doing so that's why i wanted to do this activity day because it actually um actually helps us ground down and get really focused into the moment so it is about uh being here now as eckhart tolle would say it's about being in that present moment and just honoring all the feels that are are going on right now. Uh, Bahar says, I cannot order it from Turkey. Oh, well, I'll find another place for you to um, order it from. I'll ask my publisher. Okay, so just um, diving in here. If you need to grab your art materials, you're welcome to do that now as people are jumping on here. Hey, Jenny. Uh, all you'll need today is, if you haven't got it yet, is maybe a piece of paper or an art journal, a pencil, your favorite mug. This is, my husband's a ceramicist, so he this is one of his mugs that he created. And um, yeah, just grab your favorite coffee mug. We're gonna be doing something about filling your cup, okay? So it can be empty. Mine has water in case I wanna use watercolor. I have one of my favorite black markers. You don't have to have this, but I just like to use black marker. And I also got me a little set of watercolor. So you can use acrylic, if you have colored pencils, whatever it is that you feel that you have with you, use that, okay? So before we begin, I just wanna talk about space because it's important to um, find a really cozy place and or create a cozy space uh, where you're at. And Basically, I'm in my little meditation corner. This is a, like my little chair that I love to meditate in. 
I like to journal here. Um, I like to, I have my crystals, show them. I have my little crystal set, I have a candles, I have my plants. So I invite you to find a space that's very comfortable for you to just relax so that you can get grounded. So just create a space, create a place where you can have your art materials, where you won't be too distracted, whether you can close your door um, and just really focus for the next like half an hour, giving yourself that space to create. I think that's really, really important. I'm um, actually in the book I had, um, that's one of the things that I talk about is creating like a personal altar. There's a little picture um, and it gives you ideas and prompts of what to include in um, like a sacred space, space where you can do these type of activities, right? I actually have some oils too that I like to have around in my sacred space because it helps me get into that creative mode. Mm. So this is Mary Magdalene. This is like a rose blend, really nice. All right. So what we're going to do is, once you have your materials, I'm going to put, put the book aside. Um, we are going to fill our cup. So being in the present moment. And the grounding exercise is actually going to draw your cup. Mmm, what a concept, right? So the purpose of drawing your cup is that you become present in the moment. When you can become present in the moment, that's what consciousness is. That's what um, enlightenment is too, is like being in the moment. So we're not fighting um, what's happening with the world around us. We're not living in, um, you know, being stuck in our head in the past. Or the future okay and then we're going to be filling our cup with like different symbols and objects so basically i know there's just a lot a lot of feelings going on right now um there's people that are in fear that are living in with a lot of anxiety about their thinking about their future of their own health about their job right um there's people that are feeling very angry they're pissed off that people aren't staying home that they're partying on the beaches or um, on their boats um there's sadness that we're not connecting, that we're not hugging, that we're not spending time with people that we love, right? So there's a lot of different emotions and I ask you to honor those emotions. I definitely, if you need some time right now before we get started on this activity, if you wanna draw out your emotion, um, choose a color, um, choose a shape, line, um, anything, and put that on in your journal. You can go ahead and, and spend a couple of minutes doing that and that is totally fine honor your feeling you definitely don't want to ignore it or bypass it you know just being in that moment of releasing it but what i wanted to do today is when we get stuck in this back part of our brain which is that fight or flight response also called the lizard brain and that's a sympathetic nervous system right when we get stuck back here in this fear mode in this anger mode um we're resisting, right? And we can get triggered very, very easily. Um, whether we go to the grocery store, we see people with like ski mask and face mask and gloves and it could trigger stuff in you. Um, I actually uh, got on Facebook today and um, someone was complaining that they didn't like seeing happy photos of people that were self, you know, social distancing. They were staying home and actually had happy family photos that that, that was just, you know, people were showing off and being narcissistic. And I was like, wow. That's triggering some PTSD or some family stuff that they have going on with them their own self that they're projecting that right so it's so interesting how this time is you know it's all about self-care so what I'm asking you to do is we're gonna be moving from that that lower part of our brain right so that we don't flood our keep continuing flooding our nervous system with the stress hormones we're gonna move it to that frontal cortex and in that frontal cortex, that's where consciousness is. That's where that problem solving is. So that's the intention for today is moving those emotions, moving that problem solving. So take your time. We're gonna spend at least 10 minutes drawing our mug, right? Whatever your mug is. And for those of you who tell me that you can't draw, you can draw. Everything is a shape, okay? So this mug, what shape would you say? Maybe like a rectangle, right? Start with your rectangle, right? Actually, your mug looks totally different than mine. But take some time, draw out 
your mug. Hi, Larissa. Super happy you joined us. So we're just getting started. So if you're watching the replay or just jumping on, um, you can always watch again in the group. But we're just getting started on the actual drawing task, which is drawing your mug. So take at least 10 minutes. Um, if you have questions, um, I would love to know. And I just want to know how you feeling? You know, how are you feeling today? Um, are you feeling stressed? Are you feeling angry? Are you practicing self-care? I want to know about all that. So please let me know in the comments, uh, kind of how you're, how you're doing. What's, what's the actual emotion? And you can put that on here as we're, we're drawing as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start my drawing. I'm going to be here while you're doing yours. I'm doing mine. We're just thinking if this is my sketchbook, maybe like that big. Can you see that? So we're going to do about that big. So grounding is, oh, that's a little high. Grounding is, is basically being in the present moment. So taking time to just focus on your senses, focus on what is literally around you and looking at it, observing it. So for those of you who are just observing, I just invite you to dive in and do your little sketch. For the actual, for your stress hormones to actually decrease, you wanna have like 45 minutes of art making, right? So this exercise of mindful doodling, mindful drawing is actually in the book as well. Um, and it helps you become grounded. It's helping you ground into the moment, helping you look at what is in front of you by just sketching, sketching what you see. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just what do you see in front of you? I'm gonna race. So this usually takes like 10 minutes just to warm up. I encourage you to add details and what you see. You guys wanna see this is my mug that I'm creating. Hi, Anna, just saying hello to people that are joining us. So this is our mindful sketch. So looking at the details of our mug. So symbolically, we're looking at filling our cup, filling our cup with self-care, right? So as the emotions change that, you know, we're, we're at home, um, one moment we might be scared, we might be over-consuming uh, media. I know that I felt like I was on <laughs> Facebook and watching the news with way too much yesterday. So I was filling my cup with a lot of things that was making me feel anxious. It wasn't feeding me in any way, right? Hi, Mylene. Super happy you're here too. Um, so just imagine, what are you feeding your cup? What are you feeding yourself, right? What are you filling your cup with? So, I mean, it could be, if we are working from this part, it would be consciously choosing things that are going to help us feel good, right? But if we're unconscious, if we're not being conscious or being aware of what we're doing, we might go to bad habits and we all have them, right? You might be filling your cup with too much alcohol. You might be filling your cup with too much um, media, um, filling with stuff that aren't helping us, binge eating. I mean, we could go on and on in bad habits. So we're just, or negative thoughts, right? So as you take your time to add the details, you could add shading, you could add colors to your mug. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it to that next step. So what do we want to fill our mug with, right? So we're moving from, well, do we wanna live in fear? Do we wanna live with, with anger, right? Are we, is that what we wanna fill our mug with? So we're consciously, moving that energy to that frontal cortex. We want to problem solve. We want to like help each other out of how are we coping? 
what are things that we're using to make us feel good, right? So some things that I want to fill my mug with. I want you guys, this is the challenge for you, is to pick five things and represent them, represent them with either symbol or you could do it in writing. Actually, the exercise in the book is a writing exercise to fill your cup. But in this, we're going to do it with art making. Oh, filled with fur. I miss my cat. Oh, Mylene. Most definitely. You could put your little cat coming out of your mug, right? Um, Amy says, I'm not drawing, but I'm watching and listening while I work. Okay, well, that's cool. I'm, I'm super happy that you're here, Amy. But what do you fill in your cup with, Amy? You can help us there, right? What is it that you want to um, fill your mug with? What's going to help you ground down and cope? So I'm challenging five things. And when I say five is think of them as sensory. So when you pick some things, so whether it's going for a walk with someone had mentioned, um, or maybe it's painting or drawing, you could put your paintbrushes in, in here. I'm actually going to put a paintbrush. So we could actually write on our cup. You can um, draw images coming out of your cup. So this is gonna be my paintbrush. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it like this. So if you're like, say you wanted to put walking or maybe running, I know Amy, you like to run. Uh, you might wanna put what you see while you're running. Is it the groundingness of the trees? of the beautiful plants that you see. I love just being in my backyard. So as you can see in my backyard, I have lots of palm trees and, and other trees. So I would like to put some palms because that's very grounding. I'm actually gonna do some gardening. Um, I'm just gonna move some plants out of some pots. Getting your hands in soil is actually very grounding. Putting your feet in the earth. Um, actually, you know, walking into the grass is very grounding. So thinking about the earth, but I would love to hear from you guys. What would you like to put in your cup? My niece said she'd like to put her cat. How cute, little cat coming out of her, of her mug, right? Some fur to help her feel good. So some sensory things. Um, if you can't be with your cat right now, maybe you could find something furry that could represent your kitty cat, um, just to keep you like a fuzzy pillow or something that will keep you feeling secure and safe, right? What are some things? I've, um, I've done one of these drawings before with uh, a client and they had put themselves, they'd like to take hot baths. So they had themselves sitting in the cup, with their legs sticking out and, and their head over here. That could be something that would be um, that self-care, right? So Malene says, outside, it's been a year. I've been outside eating ice cream outside. So it's been a while since you've been outside. I know that Mylene had mentioned um, she was in, uh, not going outside right now, but eating ice cream outside. Those are things that you could put also in here. Like say you do um, wanna put ice cream, you could put your ice cream in the cup. This is where you get to be creative and how you want to draw them, incorporate them into your cup. Brenda says, working with my horse and grooming. Hmm, that sounds nice. So you you could actually draw a horse on your mug, right? So just being as creative as possible. This is where you can um, also, you know, grab, I like to grab my black marker once I have it all drawn. And um, I like to outline and then I like to color in. So that's just like the way that I like to do it but that's totally up to you. So you could sketch it out and then um, just dive in with, with paints or colored pencils or whatever you got, or you can um, just keep it as this, but I think color always makes it fun. So I'm trying to think of what else that I wanna do for myself for self care. Hmm. Um. I love positive affirmations. I think that's also helpful for me, especially um, being in, in this time. So I'm going to, I'm gonna write some affirmations on my mug. Oh, Malika says she's gonna do an embroidery project that expresses my essence. Oh, that sounds beautiful. 
So in your cup, you could put some embroidery needles. I think that would be really cool if you, if you wanted to. Just giving you ideas. So I'm just adding some things. What are we filling our cup with? I am healthy, um, gratitude, just being grateful for, man, coming together and doing this work together. This is amazing that we're all here doing this work at the same time because, you know, as we heal ourselves, we heal others, right? So let's think, uh, what are some positive affirmations that you're using? Malika says, yes, I got those in there. Awesome. What are some positive things or... Just some some things that make you feel good. What are some affirmations that you might be using? I am healthy. I'm putting, I can choose to feel good. Because we have to remember, um, when we think about our time and we think about um, our feelings, like, you know, we can't buy our happiness, but it's a choice, a choice to, to feel good. Um, and we can't buy time, right? So this is kind of a blessing that we have this time to to heal, I am well. Oh, Brenda says I am well, I am healthy, yes. Um, all life is organized around my success, Deborah wrote. Beautiful, life is organized around your success. The universe is supporting you at this time. Uh, Malika says I am healthy, aware, awakened and present. Beautiful, beautiful. I like that, I'm gonna use yours too. It says, I am healthy, I am aware, I can choose to feel good. So when I do, I might get triggered. I might go back to that anxiety feeling. I might read a post on Facebook or I might read some news media that might bring me back. Um, definitely not going back to the grocery store because that did trigger some things in me. Uh, you could definitely you know, choose a better thought, choose the self-care. Um, yeah, and we're here, we're here together. Okay, I don't like the way I wrote that. Isn't that nice about pencils? If you don't like the way you wrote something, you can erase. Okay, so I have, what do I have so far? I have my affirmations, I have my pencils. I don't really like my palm leaf, so I'm going to change it. I have this other type of plant that I like um, in my backyard. I'm gonna draw that. You know, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put some flowers in here as well, just because, just because I like flowers. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna put some flowers. Um, I have this really pretty tree that's blooming right now, so I'm gonna draw. Try to draw those flowers. Okay, and they have a nice smell. So going with my five senses again, um, I am seeing the beautiful flowers. I am, or smelling the beautiful flowers and hearing, I'm not gonna do anything for hearing or tasting. Hmm, so try and put my five senses in here. Let's see. Um, let me taste something. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do for that. 
at least I have one, two, three, four. I have four things so far, and I'm feeling good about it. So since I'm feeling good about it, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, Verena says, I feel love all around me, loving me. Mmm, beautiful. I love that. That's an awesome affirmation. That's definitely going to um, bring your vibe up. So I challenge you for five. I only have four myself. So something else might come up for me that I want to add. But I mean, just this is a little technique that I like to do when I'm drawing. I like to just do like an outline in black so it pops and then I add my color, okay? So this is something that you can do. And like I said before, that, you know, if the emotion comes up that makes you feel uncomfortable, um, that anxiety, that anger, that fear, um, the sadness, draw it out. Definitely draw it out. Get it out. Um, it it's, doesn't have to be anything pretty. It's definitely to be in a cathartic experience, right? But that next step is to go back to this, is to go back to your coping skills, is to go back to feeling good. Pick things that are going to nurture you. Fill your cup um, with things that are going to make you feel really good. Right. So even for those of you who are out there, you might be working. Um, give yourself some time to actually do this little exercise. It's fun. So 45 minutes will actually reduce your stress level. They've done studies on that, the research. So we've been working for 22 minutes. So imagine you have your drawing and then if you spend another uh, 20 minutes coloring it in, that's your 45 minutes of art making. And you're going to go from that sympathetic nervous system, releasing those stress hormones to actually moving into that problem solving, that frontal cortex of space of consciousness. You're gonna get into your zone. Right? That's what I love about art making. It's can, it just brings up your vibe. Let me just look at... Oh, we had a lot of people that just wanted to join us. Thank you all for inviting your friends. I'm going to go ahead and let them in our group. Oh my goodness, we have a lot. Okay, this is awesome. So... They are probably going to join this a, a little late, which is totally fine. Um, they can always watch the replay. So the purpose of this group is to have a space to place your art, right? So you're welcome to, once you're done, you're welcome to share your art here. It is a safe place uh, for you to do that. Or if you want to invite your friends, you're welcome to invite your friends. All right, I am healthy. I am aware. I can choose to feel good. Choose to feel good. Okay, I think I'm ready to add some color.
I know I'm kind of getting into my own zone now. And I'm like <laughs> totally getting lost in my drawing. And that's what the beautiful thing, that is being present, right? That's what this groundedness is. That's what art is about. It's about getting lost in, in the moment. Right, getting lost in this process. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what are, his, um, what are some things in your cup? And I think that's how we learn from each other, right? Oh, Jessica says, um, thank you. Kids are revolting, so I have to run, but I'll finish my cup in a bit. Oh, thank you. Yes, Jessica, please sh share your cup because I'd love to know what's in it because, you know, one person might have one idea and we can share it and um, it'll motivate us and inspire us. Dory says, I'm from Belgium, a bit late, was on the phone with a friend who needed a shoulder cry on. All is well now. Oh, Dory, that is so beautiful. Um, well, beautiful not that your friend was crying, but beautiful that you were there to support her. So that could be something. That's actually, I'm going to put that into my cup. Like I was just saying that we share we, with each other. Is that calling someone, you know, like reaching out to someone to ask support. Call your friends. What an opportunity to just, I did a FaceTime with, um, with a friend yesterday um, and, and called another friend. But again, you know, just reaching out um, and, and making phone calls. We, we do a lot of texting, right? But just calling your friends. So how can I put that in here? What would be a good visual? So I'm curious, Dory, if you're going to put that in your mug, because I think you should, because that is a part of um, our own coping, because we are social beings, right? We, we have an innate desire to connect. And what would that look like? What do you think symbolically would that look like, um, connecting? Hmm, what would that look like? I think I'm gonna put some hearts uh, just because that's what symbolically, that's what came up for me. So I'm gonna add, I always like to add with the pencil first. Um, I'm gonna add some hearts on here. Yay, Dory, you helped me with my last one that I wanted to, um, <laughs> I needed to, to add something. So connecting with others, you know, through the phone chat, through FaceTime. Donna put a paintbrush, music notes, tea, flowers, a lemon. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's a great, I like the tea. I mean, we're having a mug, right? I got, I'm gonna add that too. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> I'm gonna add the little, the little thing that comes out for the tea. Oh, and I love, is it Tazo tea? Um, that gives you a little message in your little, the little tea bag thing. I love those. It's like a little fortune for today, right? I wish I had one to look at right now, but I guess we can make up our own. So yes, so that would be my taste because I didn't have something for taste. Thank you, Donna. Uh, Dory says, I would draw hearts or hands. Beautiful for the connection, yes. So that would be awesome. You could have hands coming out of your mug. That would be look really cool. Carolyn writes, um, bread making, love, laughter, birds, song, flowers, trees, my dog, Robins. My cup is overflowing, feeling grateful. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I love that vibe. I love that energy that your cup is overflowing. Because when your cup is overflowing, then you have so much to give to others, right? If you have an empty cup, then um yeah you don't want to give anything on an empty cup so you want to fill your cup first right so that when you make that phone call when you might need to be that person that um is holding space for somebody else if they are upset or frustrated or having a lot of anxiety beautiful so we want overflowing cups that's a good thing so i'm trying to think of a good fortune for today um hmm. I'm gonna put overflowing. A 
Okay, I gave myself a good fortune of, oh, I kind of ran out of space. Overflowing abundance and meaning that in every way, meaning that in the greenery outside, meaning that in my health and, and meaning that in my abundance in, in how I feel. So a moon, a moon is abundance of good energy. All right. Okay. So here's another little trick. Like once I, um, I do it in black, then I go back and then I erase all the lines with my pencil. It kind of cleans it up a little bit. I can't wait to see all of your pictures. So please, 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 you can post it um, on Instagram. My Instagram is Art Therapy Online. Um, and your, I mean, you can tag me in your Instagram um, if you want to put it in your stories um, or in this Facebook group if you want to put post it in there. That's totally cool too. Um, I'd just love to see what you guys created. So once I erase everything, erase my lines. Clean it up. It kind of pops a little bit more. You can kind of see it. Oh, when I missed a little part. Yay, my mug is overflowing. I hope everybody's mug is over, overflowing. Um, hey, Jessica. Yeah, if you're coming on here late, that's totally cool. We're, we're going to be ending in just a few minutes, and I'm going to post uh, the replay. So the replay is going to be in the group, and then it's also going to be on YouTube. Um, I'll share that with you so that you can either use it for yourself or share it with a friend, because this kind of work is incredibly, incredibly important. Um, I just got to add one more line here. This is my little tea bag saying overflowing. Abundance. See how we learned from each other. Hey, Deborah, super happy you're here. Oh, the other Deborah said she put uh, paintbrushes, a fountain pen, a camera, a book, three hearts, the iris flower, and an umbrella plant. Beautiful. I cannot wait to see the visual of what that looks like. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so if you are joining us late, um, you are welcome, like I said, to watch the replay or you're welcome to get started. We are basically um, drawing our mug, our favorite mug, and we are filling our own cup. So this is a, about emotionally, how we, are, how are we using our coping skills? And if you need to express your emotions, if you are feeling anxious, sad, fear, any of that, draw that up. Go ahead, put that out there first, and then come back to this to know that you can always have those self-care tools to bring up your vibe. You don't have to suffer, right? It's a choice. So we're moving from that, um, that lizard brain, that fight or flight response to that more consciousness, to being in the presence, getting into our art. And allow yourself some time to do this, right? 45 minutes of art making will um, decrease your anxiety, it'll decrease your stress levels in your body. You've already done 40 minutes, beautiful. So I'm going to, um, Add some color because it'll it'll finish it up. But I just want to let you know, um, yeah, go ahead and post in the group your beautiful pictures, um, your finished uh, masterpieces here. And if you do need some individualized individualized support, I am totally here for you. Um, I do offer online art therapy sessions, and the beautiful part about art therapy is um, obviously it's healing and it's but it's guided healing. So it's really intentional and it's moving you from where you're at to that place of transformation, that place of where you wanna go, right? Um, because 
self-reflection is really important and a lot of times we get stuck on our habits and our limited mindsets and so sometimes that you need someone to hold that space for you and be able to look into um, creating a new path and a new story for yourself so i am totally here for you if um if you do need some more support have fun um, i'm gonna go ahead and dive into my watercolor now I'm trying to think of how much i want to think i think i'm gonna just do like a little rainbow up here with the colors just for funsies and then i'm gonna end so i loved being here um yeah deborah said she'll watch the replay yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end now um but definitely please go ahead and and post your stuff and if you want uh, more classes like this um i i happy to provide some free in this group um, I do that and I also have some online where there are uh, videos that you can watch on my website www.leaguzman.com so sending you lots of love have a beautiful rest of the day um, I can't wait to see your finished drawing um, and add color all right I'll see you later bye